Hello, my friends. Look what I have today. It's this new Born Pretty Magician Stamping Gel. New. And I just got it. Uh, I was playing around with it just like for a minute and just to see what it looked like. Looks like that. Um, I also got some powders from Born Pretty and these all this stuff came from AliExpress. This was a dollar, so if it works, then that's a pretty good deal. And I've seen on Instagram some little tutorials with this, and apparently you can mix it with other colors. So maybe we'll try that. And another thing, I picked up these silicone brushes from Hobby Lobby the other day. I've never seen anything like this. It recommended them for like watercolors and acrylics, um, but I thought, boy, these would be really good for gel, I think. So I'll try these out. This one kind of looks promising with the wedge, or maybe this one. And I've got some tips fresh out of the oven here. Let me just wipe off this uh, inhibition layer. I'm just going to use this little fall plate because it's fall, I guess. I don't know if the calendar says, but the weather definitely does. Okay. So it kind of has a... It smells pretty mild. It just smells like really light gel. And you can see the texture. So I guess I just take like a blob of it. It doesn't look like I need too much. Let's see how it does with these like little branches here. I guess I'll just try to like fill in all the, the cracks or the cracks, the etching. <laughs> Okay, that looks good. I want to make sure I don't I don't cure my plate with this stuff on there because it will not come out and that this plate will be ruined if I if I uh, cure it with gel on top. I've seen some people ask like, oh, will it ruin my plate if I put acrylic paint or whatever. Uh, no, it's stainless steel, so very few things are going to ruin it. However, curing gel on it will absolutely render it useless. So I'll just be careful to keep that away from the light. And let's see, I guess I'll just stamp this on top of there. Oh, it's... Hmm, it kind of didn't stick, but I also see it on there. Okay, weird. Let me cure it. Let's see what happens. I'll just do 30 seconds. I don't think this is going to be a very long video, but I haven't gotten a chance to do a longer format video in a few weeks for a few reasons that are pretty exciting. So... It's like kind of sticky. I'm gonna use this really beautiful blue green color here. Uh -huh, that's really cool to like watch it up here. <laughs> Yeah, so like I said, I've been really busy. I opened up a new shop, an online store for selling my press-ons. I've been pushing it a little bit on here already, so I won't um, spam you all anymore with that. But uh, yeah, check it out. I'm adding stuff kind of regularly and it's looking really good, I think. Okay, so it kind of looks like I wonder, 
So yeah, I guess it's not like perfect. I guess that's just me, like my stamping, smudging, or I'm rubbing the powder too hard. I don't know. Full disclosure, I'm real bad with powders, just like period. So um, yeah, this might be interesting. Okay, so I'm thinking, let me top coat this. And um, the other thing I've been working on is I'm doing a little bit of an upgrade in my studio here, I'm kind of always working on it. Um, and I know it's something that y'all are interested in seeing. So I'm really excited. Uh, it should be done like in the next few days and then I can do like a studio tour and show you guys what I've been working on because like with all the shop and everything, I just need all the new space and I've got all kind of like supplies and I want to move all my printers and stuff up here too. It's like, like a Cricut ma maker and or a Cricut machine rather. <laughs> Imagine if it just made crickets it's like chirp, 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 chirp. <laughs> all right, that's enough out of you, Lauren. Let's get this. Perfect. So now what would it look like if I put some leaves on top of here? Um, pick up a couple of these. I guess I can just like wipe off. Okay. Now like what if I just put like a leaf there? there and leave there and like there's still gel on the stamper I can't even see what I just did so let me cure it okay and let me try with my other little palette here Let's see, should we do like a gold? Oh, wow, that's like magic. I'm thinking like my, or am I supposed to be like wiping it? That can't be right. Right? Let's try again. What if I try one of these instead? It's very chromey. And yeah, that's not what I meant to do. I guess once you rub it off, you're kind of screwed. I don't think I can. I don't think I can like stick any powder on top of it now that it's that I wiped off the let's try it one more time I don't even see it I might have wiped it off entirely Okay, well, that's our first experiment. Let's try again, shall we? I'm gonna do these leaves try to be kind of generous Oops. It, this like feels so wrong 
feels so weird too because it's like there's nothing to see. to do it like quick like that maybe that'll help let's put it in there I go through these things like crazy these little alcohol pads okay all right so this is what I was thinking of doing like an ombre off this guy. So let's start off with like this kind of coppery. Oh, that's cool. And then move on to this gold, which is actually really similar. Let's do silver. Okay, that looks pretty ombre. <laughs> Oop, all this hair just fell out of there. Hmm. I'm still just getting like I don't know how to keep it from sticking to the like the nail part there. Maybe I need to rub it off. It's not really working. Hmm. No, maybe my hand is just too heavy. This is trickier than I thought it would be. The tutorials always make everything look so easy. How they trick you. <laughs> oh yeah, so I actually bought some um, Apre uh, Gel X recently. So this whole hand is Gel X. These are my natural nails. Uh, this took me literally eight hours to do. I had to redo this too, like completely soak off the nails. Um, and I did a pretty bad job at the application, but I think they look really good now. Yeah, I love it. It's so strong too. All right, what was I doing? I was attempting to make a manicure. Let's try again. Let's see how these ones. Maybe I, maybe I'm just like, maybe this isn't clean enough. That's why that's happening. Let me make sure I wipe this off real, real good. And maybe I'll scrape it twice. That looks pretty good, I think. <laughs> it's really hard to see. All right, let me try this. Let me try my ombre thing again. Start with the silver. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna try to be really like delicate this time. And not rub it. Just like tapping it, kind of. 
I really enjoy how it like how they kind of like just come out of nowhere like magic. Alright, I'm still kind of seeing the same results. Or am I? Mm, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh, and I just realized that this is actually hollow. That's so pretty. Um, okay, that looks pretty good. So I think that's the key is to just be like kind of delicate and not oops, and not rub it because I was like rubbing it in and that doesn't seem to work. And I'm kind of curious if this is a fluke. <laughs> I'm gonna put a top coat and then put something else on top and just make sure um, I can duplicate this. Alrighty. I'm putting this down there. And let me do one more. Just for fun. Super paranoid this is gonna have gel on it. I think I almost want to test it with regular polish. <laughs> Alright, let's get our big contrasting color here. And I'm going to be very careful. Dab dab dab. I know you were there somewhere. Dab, dab, dab. Do you think it'll work? Place your bets. Ah! It did not work. So, I mean... I don't know why, um, maybe it's just the powder, maybe this powder is just like too big, I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm going to stop there because I don't know what I'm doing, uh, but I wanted to test this out and I wanted to show you how difficult it is. <laughs> no, I mean... Yeah, I guess I thought it would be easy, but I was wrong. Um, I'm definitely going to need to practice this this some more. But you can see how it was getting better over time. So I think if I do this a few more times, I'll probably get the hang of it. And I don't know, maybe I'll show you. But um, yeah, I mean, I guess that's like kind of it's it got its own thing going on there. It's kind of pretty. <laughs> that had a problem. This is okay. You can see how well these silicone brushes work. 
I was kind of on the fence whether I believe if it was going to be a good idea. Uh, but yeah, it's flowing really nice. The polish is not like drying and sticking. I was kind of thinking it might be like that silicone paw print that we got in the MXM a few months ago. And when you would use regular polish on it as a palette, it, the polish would kind of just dry and then like stick to the brush. And I don't know, it would just it just wasn't working. Um, not for regular polish anyway. But um, oops, this is working good. And what's really nice about this is you don't have to use a bunch of acetone to clean it off. Uh, I can just wipe it off. And the tip is pretty sharp, so I can get some detail in there. Pretty good. Yeah, these are great. I, I like these a lot. I don't know how much they were. I don't remember. They were pretty cheap, too. It's definitely under $10. They'd be good for a lot of things. Maybe even, like, um, clay or something. Like Fimo clay. So, nice thing about stamping is when I mess up, I can just cover it up. What do you mean? It was perfect. <laughs> Alrighty, so there we go. I think that's enough futzing around with this. We've got a little thankful fall on this which was what a what was a totally flawless stamp job back there this is clearly a uh, fine art abstract nothing wrong with that at all it's just how it's supposed to be and then you know this is just classic done by pro obviously <laughs> yeah good times uh have you tried this and if you have, will you please make a tutorial so I can learn from you? <laughs> uh, yeah, this was interesting. I really appreciate y'all for watching. And I don't know if you noticed, but I hit 1,000 subscribers the other day. Thank you so much. That's so exciting. Uh, my birthday is on the 19th, and I was really hoping to get 1,000 subscribers by then. So yay, happy birthday to me. Thank you so much. I love each and every one of you. I love all of you who leave me comments, especially. I love getting to know you, and it's just really fun. I'm really enjoying being a part of this YouTube community and... I appreciate you. So thank you so much for joining me. Let me know what you think as usual. And until next time, bye.